Our team of researchers at Harvard and MIT has recently discovered exciting new methods to improve the way brain tumors are diagnosed and treated. The current standard of care for brain tumors involves surgery. In an intracranial procedure, the surgeon establishes an initial diagnosis, does a biopsy, and resects as much of the tumor as is safely possible. Unfortunately, using this method, some of the tumor cells often get left behind in an effort to avoid damaging nearby vital structures in the brain. For over 80% of patients with diffuse astrocytomas who have this surgery, their cancer recurs right near the tumor margins. Evaluation of the tumor tissue after the surgery also adds several days to the overall diagnosis and treatment timeline. But what if surgeons could diagnose the tumor, including the specific mutations driving tumor growth, right in the operating room, and then treat the area of the tumor with targeted therapies to reduce the chance of recurrence? More than 90% of adult diffuse lower-grade gliomas have mutations in genes called IDH1 and IDH2. Unfortunately, the treatment that works best on these tumors is toxic to the kidneys and the retina, so it cannot be used systemically. A key breakthrough in treating these types of tumors would be finding a way to apply the treatment locally in the brain, using sustained drug release methods. This molecular-based approach would avoid systemic toxicities while still harnessing the effect of targeted therapy on residual tumor cells but this would require surgeons to be able to positively identify the tumor type and administer treatment at the tumor margins, all during the initial surgical resection procedure. So this is exactly what we set out to do. To achieve a rapid diagnosis, we employed a quantitative PCR-based approach which leverages pre-existing equipment in molecular pathology labs. We were able to accurately detect the mutation within 30 minutes, even in biopsy specimens with tumor purity as low as 1%. For the local sustained release formulation, we prepared microparticles from a polymer that entraps the drug inside. We showed that drug is slowly released from these particles, only killing mutant cells and not others. We then applied these microparticles to brain tumors in mice. In the mice we treated, the tumors grew slower and only the mice with the mutation survived longer. In the future, we hope to enable the use of rapid diagnosis and targeted local sustained released treatments right in the operating room. This approach capitalizes on the unique opportunity to directly access the brain tumor and surrounding tissue during surgery and has the power to improve safety and effectiveness of future therapeutic approaches.